Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me in this next video. Now I've had a few comments coming in from you guys saying that you are finding the fritillary camo for the WSP Swarm submachine gun bugged out. Now I'm not saying I'm going to have a solution for you today. I will try my best though to get, if I can't help you with my setup that I'm going to show you, I will try and get as many of you leaving comments and see if we can't all help each other as to getting some kind of solution for unlocking this particular camo if you are struggling with this yourself. Now I've had no issues whatsoever with this camo. I did complete this in two games. So I did experiment with this guys and like I said it didn't cause me any problems whatsoever. Now the challenge is to get 15 kills on operators that are affected by your tacticals with the WSP Swarm. You need to make sure, first of all, that you are to level 27 before completing this challenge. Now, all I'm going to do is show you the setup that I had. If you have different setups, guys, leave your comments. If you did complete this camera yourself, and hopefully we can help each other. I had two stun grenades, and you can equip them, as you probably know by now, with the engineer vest. Just gives you a better chance in game to get more tacticals out there and to get those 15 kills you need. I would also recommend, and you don't have to have this, but I would recommend in your field upgrade to have your munitions box um, equipped. That way then, once you've gotten rid of two of your uh, tacticals, you can then have a third if you wish. Ordnance gloves, you don't have to have these, but I use them. It just helps you throw your equipment a little bit further if you need to. I'd recommend going into hardcore. Just makes things quick and more easier. Now, I'm going to show you that on this first clip the mistake I made when I first started this. I chucked my tactical out close to where the enemy is and I started going on a killing spree as you can see here. None of them counted, okay, because I was counting them as I was going along, as I was experimenting with this, what worked, what didn't. You must make sure as I'm showing you here in this clip here, when you throw your tactical out, you must get the little faint white crosshairs come up to say that the enemy has been affected by whatever tactical you've chosen to equip. Again, to show you there, Get those little white crosshairs coming up. That way then you know at least some of the enemies that are in the surrounding area have been affected by your tactical. To be honest, this is a very easy challenge. And if it is bugged out for many of you, there's not, as I said, a lot that you know I can do to help you. But it's trying to resolve the mistakes you're making in games which might help you in unlocking this camo. So just me showing you these video clips that I'm showing you here could potentially help you into identifying maybe some mistakes you might be making. I don't know. Like I said, it's just, just I'm just trying to help you as much as I possibly can for those of you who might still be struggling to unlock this camo. But you must make sure you leave it a little few seconds after you've thrown your tactical to get the little white crosshairs up before you go on your killing spree. If that little tactical white hair doesn't, the crosshair doesn't come up, you might not affect the enemy, which means you're not going to get one of the 15 kills you need uh, for this challenge. Now, this is the last video clip I'm going to show you. This is the moment when I'm then going to use my second tactical to get this camo unlocked. But as I said before, guys, hopefully this will help you. Hopefully we'll try and get to some resolution from all of your comments coming in to see if we can all help each other if you are still finding that this camo is bugged out for you. I do really hope this video has helped, but leave your comments, guys, and let's see if we can all help each other. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.